Dave McHugh here at the D3Hoops.com Classic, and we continue to talk to coaches and players from each of the teams participating. One of those teams that's participated in all three D3Hoops.com Classics is Ramapo, and Coach Chuck McBreen joins me right after their win against Hiram. And it wasn't the easiest of wins. I know uh, you certainly weren't uh, enjoying it on the sidelines in the second half. No, but the, the main thing was we came out here and we were really looking forward to the opportunity that we had to play a number three ranked North Central. And obviously only one guy came to play last night in Treadwell. And I thought if our other four seniors would have came to play, that game could have been different. And I was really concerned tonight to see how we would handle the adversity of our first loss of the season and how we came out. And I thought we did an excellent job early, especially with Sanborn not being ready to play today and me pulling them early and us, you know, opening up a 15 or 17 17-point lead, whatever we had at halftime. Yeah, you actually had 19 at one point in the first half, and then looked like you guys kind of had the game pretty much well in hand, but Hiram just would not go away. That second half, really a dogfight, even by the this 12-point spread at the end. Yeah, well, Hiram could really shoot the ball. They have three-point shooters. Their two wing players, Shepard and Stefanov, can really shoot the ball, and they can shoot themselves right back in the game. And they got hot and made some shots, and all of a sudden this lead got down. I think the lowest it got down was 10. Mm -hmm. I'm not 100% mm -hmm. sure of that. But uh, we were able to make some shots and make our free throws uh, and all and hold them off tonight. You talked about Treadwell, 37 points against Hiram. Had a great weekend all in all. He certainly has grown into a really good force inside. He can even make it a threat outside. Steph is the unbelievable kid, unbelievable work ethic, and he's worked really hard to get to where he is right now. And he's one of the best players in our conference. And, and, and I'd be hard pressed to see too many people better than him in the country because of what you said. He can go down on a box. He's got a variety of moves with both hands. And then he can go out and shoot the jumper. He can even shoot the three. He doesn't really ever do it, but he doesn't practice and he can knock it down. So, I mean, he can beat you in a variety of ways. And he's come a long way for us. And, you know, he, he was our most valuable player out here. 9-1 on the season now. You're 6-0 in a revamped end jack. Now you're playing everybody. There's no split in the conference. How do you feel prepared going back into end jack play now? Well, I knew that getting a test out here with both Hiram and North Central would help us as we go back into the conference. We have a tough week coming up. We have a game on Thursday, a game on Saturday, and a game on Sunday. And, and Thursday we play a Mega Evers team that made the NCAAs two years ago and beat us last year and lost by two in the CUNY championship to go back to the NCAAs, and they got pretty much everybody back. So we have them on Thursday, and then we go down to Rowan, who we beat in the playoffs last year only by a couple, and they got everybody back, and they're a good team, so that's going to be a tough game for us and then we play SUNY Potsdam on Sunday. So we have a tough week, and then the following week we, we, we follow it up with two of the best teams in the end, Jack, William Patterson and Stockton. So these next five games will really determine where we're going to go with this season, and hopefully it stays in a positive direction. And obviously the dynamics change. You're playing a lot of end, Jack, games now, a lot more. I know you love to travel to these types of tournaments. This is your third trip to this one, but these tournaments now are even more important. Yes, without a doubt. First, I want to thank D3 Hoops, you guys, for having us out here for three years in a row. We've played great competition. We've played Wisconsin Stevens Point, who was a defending national champion the year that the following year when we played them. Today, uh, yesterday, we got to play a North Central team that was at the Sweet 16 last year and ranked three in the country right now. So it's a great chance to evaluate our program because I know a lot of people believe that our conference is down and stacked up to whether it be the NESCAC, CCIW, the Wisconsin League, whatever league, they don't feel that the NJAC stack up even though Stockton had gone to a national championship I think against Wash U four years ago the last seven games I think we've played in the NCAAs we've gone out in the first round so people have question marks about us and our league and that's why I really wish we would have gave a better showing yesterday against North Central but these things happen we weren't ready to play yesterday and now we got to go from there and, and this team now you've seen them play here what is it I know you haven't had a lot of time to digest the weekend but what do you need to have happen with this squad to continue the success of the season and be successful in the end, Jack, and hopefully in the postseason. I think our bench has got to become more consistent because we, we have five seniors and four of them are 50 year seniors. I don't know if anybody in the country has mm. four 50 year seniors. So we got four guys that are in their fifth year. And like last night, our bench got outscored. I think it was 16 to two in the game. We made that a big mention today. And, and, and because of the amount of minutes they get, they're not going to always outscore, but they got to compete. And, and when we went off the floor with Treadwell and Elgin Brown in the last three minutes and a half yesterday, we were down 28, 23 and they were in foul trouble and they went on a nine nothing run to end the half. And that's where the game got away from us and that was part of the bench's fault so our bench has got to become more consistent uh, and all and if that happens I think we can get back into the NCAA tournament and hopefully make a run. We ask this question every year to you. You were in your favorite town 
of Las Vegas. I know you caught a show. Any other plans now that the uh, the events of the business side of the events are over for you guys? Well, we caught one show, and and actually I've been coming out here. It's my 15th time, and I've caught a lot of shows over the years. So this year, me and my assistants went to see uh, the Beatles show Love, and it was probably the best show I ever saw out here. Unfortunately, we have a plane uh, heading back home uh, tomorrow because we have to get ready for Mega Evers. Right. Uh, and I also got to get ready for a funeral. My uncle passed oh, uh, the other day, so I got a funeral that they're, they're holding off until Wednesday. So I got to get back for that and get prepared for Mega. So we fly out tomorrow, and, you know, we'll celebrate a little bit tonight, and we'll get on a plane ride and get ready for the new year, and that hopefully we'll be ready for it. Well, we enjoyed having you out here for three years. Congratulations, four and two in those three years, and uh, good luck the rest of the season. Thank you very much, and I appreciate you guys having us. No problem. Chuck McBreen joining us here at the D3Hoops.com Classic. Plenty more interviews with coaches and players throughout the weekend.